WRSR, Owasso Flint. The following program has been pre-recorded and is paid for by Discover Flint Township. The views expressed are those of Discover Flint Township and do not necessarily reflect the views of 103.9 The Fox or Krill Communications, Inc. Welcome to Discover Flint Township, a program showcasing our local community. Flint Township is ready for your next move. And now, your host, Flint Township Economic Enhancement Director, Tracy Tucker. This is Discover Flint Township, brought to you by Flint Township Economic Development Authorities, HAP, Financial Plus Credit Union, and Shea Automotive Group. We're wide awake, and we hope you are too. All right, so now we're going to move on to our business spotlight, which we have our new sponsor, Guaranteed Rate, is helping us to shine a spotlight on our local Flint Township businesses. And today we have one of my favorite people, David Gaines from Uh, Gaines Jewelry. Hi, David. Hi, how are you, (laughs) Tracy? I'm good, I'm good. So why don't you introduce yourself and let everyone know what you do at Gaines Jewelry? Oh boy. Well, I'm, I'm David Gaines. I'm the president of Gaines Jewelry. And, and what do I do? Um, my father always used to, uh, when people would ask my dad what, what he did at the business, he would always say, I'm the owner and the janitor. So anyone who owns a business knows that that means you do whatever you need to do. So, I, but I'm the president of the company and try to try to keep things on task, but I have a great staff. So that isn't too much work. Thank goodness. Yeah, so so it was a family business. Yeah, still was a family business. Yeah, my dad started our store, um, 1963, actually, um, and I'm the second generation. And uh, both my kids, we were third generation, um, both work in the store as well. So it's it truly is a family operation. Yeah. So, how did your dad get started in it? You know, I, I could go all day about my, uh, my dad's story. Um, he, he, my dad really lived the American dream. He grew up uh, very impoverished uh, in Arkansas and Missouri, which a lot of people growing up in the late 20s and early 30s, you know, grew up impoverished, um, but worked hard and ended up going uh, to serve in World War II. And uh, uh, once he got back from serving in, in World War II and coming back to Missouri, the mechanization of farming was come along and there wasn't much need for labor like there had been. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I really kind of on a dare, he used the GI Bill to pay for a watchmaking school um, that would travel around to different towns in the area and the farming communities there and to teach trades. And so he learned uh, watchmaking and uh, that kind of started him on the path to being in the jewelry business. He started repairing watches at a at a drugstore and said he, he realized he couldn't make a living getting up to sell toothpaste every five minutes. <laughs> so uh, he opened his own little shop and um, realized again, that you can only do so much repairing. So he started you know, selling more watches and um, that's how that's how he got started. He moved well, to- What uh, part of Missouri was he from? He was from uh, near Gideon, Missouri. Near Gideon. Yeah, which is a small is little- Is that in Central little or is that- it's, it's down near the boot heel. Oh, down by yeah. um, Malden and yeah, all exactly. that. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I have family from down there. Yeah, everyone up here does. <laughs> Everybody everyone does. Everyone up here does. They all have family. Yeah. So he uh, he literally uh, was born and grew up on a on a on a ridge in the mountains in Arkansas, and um, yeah, it's just it, it's a great story. And to he always used to say, only in this country could someone who came from where he came from just work hard and get ahead and, and make something for himself. And he would, as yeah. he would always say, provide for his family. And so that was, that was what he was all about. So. Yeah. My dad was from Arkansas um, and around that area, yeah. but he was in Crowley's Ridge, Leif, Arkansas, oh, yeah. Yeah. you know, Paragol. Everybody, yeah. like, everybody up here, you ask them where they're from. They're like Paragol. Right. Cause that's none of them are from no, Paragol. No, they're from either Leif right. or Pigot or, right. sure. you know, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, my husband's, uh, mom is from New Madrid oh, area. Yeah, sure, so yeah. yeah. So yeah, we have lots of family down that way. Yep. <laughs> yeah. yep absolutely. Well, we kind of veered off here. That's okay. <laughs> so he, he opened a store in 1963, <laughs> he and my mom, and, um, he always tell the story that my mom asked him when they first opened the store, what are we going to do if this doesn't work? And of course, his answer was always, this has to work. This is this is all we have. We have yeah. to sleep here, live here. Mm-hmm. So that was kind of the approach that he took. And, and, you know, he just... That determination to succeed. Exactly. The American dream. Yeah, exactly. Right? Work right? hard and, and, and have it pay off and have your hard work uh, rewarded. And he was fortunate enough to do that. 